Hey guys, Darth Clark here, back with part 3 of my Dragon Age 2 Season 2 playthrough. So last time, if memory serves, we got done most, pretty much every quest within the, within the city. And I think now we're headed out into the Great Unknown. And we did pick up two new companions, we picked up Anders and Fenris, we're not carrying either one. Uh, because we're, we, uh, we know the squad we're carrying and we're not there yet, so... Uh, yeah, so we have kind of a slew of little randos to hit out here. Um, I guess we'll start with Bone Pit. But uh, in a random little, completely unrelated to anything little note here, I'm drinking Liquid Death for the first time. I've uh, heard, a lot of, heard a lot of things about it. I know people that are obsessed with it. I decided to give it a shot. Fun fact, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it just it just tastes like like I don't know water out of a dirty puddle or something. Like it tastes it tastes awful. Cubits miners must be a desperate lot to work here. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, it's just oh, it's so awful. I'm gonna choke it down because I always wanted to try it, but it just tastes like an like a I don't know like old gross water. I don't know. It just tastes it awful. Here, but I wouldn't call it paying work. True. Anyway. But I thought I'd give it a shot because I know a lot of people that drink it. So I thought, I thought, hey, let's maybe it's good. It's not, but whatever. Oh no, new wave. Almost leveled up, or at least I am. I'm almost leveled up anyway. Yeah, it's uh, I mean, maybe like other flavors of liquid death are better than like the the just the default, the default one that I'm drinking, you know. Like maybe if you get like the one that tastes like like the, the lemonade one or something, like maybe if you try a flavored one or something, it would be like you know much better. But at least the default one, I am not a fan. Knock, knock. Oh boy! Dragons! Dragons. They were so lined up for that. So good. There's dragons behind us, actually. There's my level up. Um, I don't really feel like we wanted to go this way. To be honest, like, I didn't look at the room behind me either. Uh, do you think this goes through? Do you think this is a dead end? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, let, let's go ahead and backtrack. I also, let's level me up first. Okay, so I think we'll just kind of hit it, hit it kind of even that time. And I do have my fancy upgrade point. The Blood Mage is always, it's, it's always fun. I, I like the idea of, of the Blood Mage. Um, the first upgrade would just give you more health, which, which is kind of neat. Um, but really, like, it's a whole build, because you can do Blood Mage, you just means you just, you spend, like, double time your stuff into your health, because it's also basically your mana, and so you maybe even ignore mana, just because you know you're gonna go Blood Magic, so it, it's a whole build. From what I was researching a while ago, because I, I wanted to know, like, how viable is actual Blood Magic in the Dragon Age games, and apparently, depending on the game, now, I don't remember which one is which, but I almost think people were, I, if memory serves, they were saying that it's really good in Origins, I think think if you build your mage with blood magic and origins it's it's like really really powerful but i almost think in two it falls off a lot like it's not nearly as good in dragon age 2 it also might be the other way around 
But anyway, I was doing research on Blood Mage and how viable it actually is. I literally almost always go this one, I think, if memory serves. Because I don't go healer, because it's just like, this is obviously the support one. I'm not really looking to play a full-on support mage. I'm, I'm just basically going damage, um, you know. So I almost always grab Force Mage. Um, plus, Force Mage is real good, and its stuff hits real hard. and So that's kind of neat. Um, technically, I could grab it. The Mana Stamina bonus right out the gates is kind of neat. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a health regenerate, which is kind of neat is uh even better now stretches further across the battlefield it goes much farther but again i mean like really if i wanted to even grab some light healing abilities i would start here i would grab heal and i would grab like maybe the upgrade just so i could have like one little heal to give to my peeps you know because i could technically do that right just because i'm going basically damage doesn't mean i have to ignore you know giving them something better right so uh, i think we will just grab an upgrade to this though um and then I probably will just run over here and grab a uh, Force Mage as well. There we go. And I'll probably just do that and call it good. Okay, let's run back to the main room. I don't feel like I saw... I mean, I know I didn't. I didn't explore this at all. I didn't go this way at all. A little bit of money. Not bad. Fine Lyrium. Oh, hey. We'll level up for Aveline. Uh, maybe double hit that and then hit one to willpower for this round. Um, Vanguard. Defender is, I think, the one she's going for. It's just like survivability, you know? I think that would be better. She does have one into this, which is for taunt. Which is not a bad move. My pommel strike and such things are not bad. But we do have her individual tree, which is immovable. Which is good. She has a lot of sustained modes, though, which does make me worry, marginally. Um, this is an activated ability. Eh, maybe we'll just grab that. Aveline's gonna need some serious points into, uh... Serious points into mana, because... Or, well, I, I stand, stamina, I guess, for her, but... She's gonna need serious points into stamina, because... Because uh, a lot of her abilities are sustained, and uh, I don't really feel like she's going to be always very good about choosing when to activate them versus when to not, you know what I mean? So she's going to reserve 100% of her shit and never have any mana. One shot in. Arg! Some good money. Oh, there's Carver. Uh, kind of feel like you need more to strength in general. Kind of think he's behind the curve a little bit it's on his regular strength. Or most of most of the way to rival on him, though. <laughs> That's for sure. We are most of the way to rival. That's for sure. Dragon! Like, literally just the one, though, so... Or maybe two? Nope, just the one. Okay, uh... Inventory. I have, like, a lot of stuff that I picked up. So, there's some bows. This one is worse. We can just get rid of it. And... That's a strength thing. It doesn't matter. Let's see, mana, stamina. I feel like mine's better. The armor's the same anyway, so mine is better than both of those. And the belt is health or attack. I kind of feel like other people could use some bonuses. Like, maybe give that to him. Give it some better, just regular old attack. Make sure there was nothing behind me. Hey, Carver, go help them out. Oh, 
Nope, there's more. Excuse me. Well, I got a lot of uh, stuff to return to people, that's for sure. Nope, we have some more little dragons. Upstairs. This way, people. Follow me. Oh, there's a ring. Let's see. Oh, and Varric leveled up. Okay, uh, let's see here. Health and defense. Ooh, that's better than one of her rings. One of her rings is just four health. Yeah, there we go. And then, so this is just health, so we can go ahead and give it to him. And then Varric. Okay. Work our way towards the next level of cunning. And I guess we'll go ahead and upgrade Bursting Arrow. I suppose. Price and Trusty, you came along. Them dragons would have sniffed me out for certain. Uh, hold on. What happened here? I'll tell you what I can, but be a friend and keep your voice down. There's another dragon close by. Well, you better get going. Try not to get eaten. Don't have to tell me twice. You should leave too. But don't go that way. There's this huge dragon. It'll another be fine. And larger. Not a threat we should leave behind. It'll be fine. No one likes that negative ass attitude. All right. There is a little something over here. Oh. What was that? Another ring. Health and defense. And what's my other ring? Mana stamina. I'd rather have mana stamina. Here, you can have a health and defense. Okay, and that's it. Oh, wasn't there gloves as well? Was I imagining that? Uh, health, regen, mana, stamina. Yeah, I feel like mine's mine's better. I feel like mine's better. Okay. Let's go see about a big dragon, shall we? Well. Speak of the devil. Arg. Let's finish this. Aveline was on her last legs, but she survived. Dragon's Fang. Interesting. A lot of cool stuff there. Oh, look, we're on the plateau that overlooks the area that we'll be in later for that bigger, worse dragon. The dragon that's like the hardest fight in the game, basically. Uh, right, inventory. I was like, what the hell was I here for? The March of Thunder. Strength. We don't care. And another bow. Much better than that one. And let's see. Magic and regen. Let's go. And then regular old health. Okay. Uh, he can go ahead and upgrade his first ring because that was just a four health ring. Here, you can have this other ring. And then health and enemies drop more coin. There you go. You can have that. More health for Aveline. Okay. There might be some stragglers before the main group. Nothing we can't handle. Yes, we're here for Aveline's little quest to rue here. So that's what we're here for. Aveline's quest. 
We'll have to deal with these people, then we'll loot the then we'll loot the area, huh? I accidentally turned around and didn't mean to. By all means, lead on. By all means, lead on. Oh, you're talking to me, Carver? You're not going to throw a fit that you're not in front? You're like, I'm always standing in your shadow, sister. You're like, just because you're literally behind me, let's not make it all. Let's not make it a whole thing. Um. Obviously, that was the enemy, but can I get close enough to loot this before they aggro? Oh, look at that. I can. Neat. All right, well, guess we'll go up this way. Then we'll go to that main area where I suspect the actual mage, major stuff is. Huh. I just assumed he was going to get close enough to actually do something. Money. Okay. A little chest with a little something. Now that's just rude. What? what? Are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. Yeah, I know. I I saw the trap, but it kind of vanished. The nanosecond it appeared. And nothing actually seemed to explode, which is confusing. Elf root, let's go. Hey guys, what up? Ah, the cloaked guy got hit by the lightning anyway. Oh, he had a staff. Is it going to be a viable staff? Who knows? There we go. About here was where we would have started if we had just gone that way initially. Uh, initially, so I'm gonna work. All right, a new staff. Is it good? Ooh, it is good. It's just straight up better. It is no kidding, no holds barred, just straight up better. Better bonuses, better damage. What more could you ask for? We're close to the ambush hawk. Be ready. Oh, I'm always ready, Aveline. I was just trying to get that ring. Okay. Uh, what was the ring? Physical damage. It's probably probably would be just about okay for anyone, but I'm trying to see if anyone's ring was like, well, that's not what I wanted. I knew I was gonna do that one of these days. Uh, remove from junk. Okay, so this is the physical damage one. Oh, she's already she's actually already wearing a physical damage ring. And then health or more health. All right, well, we could get rid of his secondary one. Is this the four or five? It's the four. All right. Lots of tiny bit of health, but he gained some physical damage, so I guess that's okay. I don't know. There's our targets for the and they're dead. <laughs> well, most of them anyway. Looks like you see anybody or? Got him. Well equipped for bandits, but dead is dead and the road is clear. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. See, when she phrases it like that, it makes it feel like that I'm gonna get attacked or something. Obviously, that's not that's not what happens. But let me watch where you step. I know earlier there was a explosive, but pretty sure we already set it off. You know what I mean? 
Oh, there we go. I love doing that. There was another little explosive. Who would have thought? All right, I think that looks to be looks to be the show. God, I'm trying to choke down this liquid death. Good lord, it's so gross. Oh, that's the worst tasting water I've ever tried to choke down. It's awful. I hear you're in need of a bit of help. Ah, so you're the reinforcements the magistrate promised. The man you're looking for, he's holed up in the ruins. Though I doubt he's still in one piece. That bastard's to be brought in alive after all he's done? Just because it isn't you and your pretty little Shemlin children he's after. Please, calm down and tell me what happened. The man you're after, he targets elves. He dragged my daughter into those ruins and killed her. I want him dead. My girl, Leah, uh, she wasn't his first victim. Over the years, he's taken dozens of our children, and not once has he paid for his crimes. There must be some humans who would take offense to these disappearances. We're nothing to them. Even if this murderer does finally go before the courts, the Magistrate won't take our word over his. I'll tear his throat out myself. Thank you, Sarah. You have no idea what this means. You couldn't turn to the guards. For all my damn coin, I'm still only an elf to these Shemlin. There'll be no justice for my girl in the courts of Kirkwall. What do you say about all this? Yes. What do you have to say? They won't go in after him. They're stalling. Trying to give the murdering bastard a chance to get away. Oi now, elf. Like we said before, you're bleeding mad if you think we'll be going against the Magistrate's orders. This murderer cannot be allowed to walk free. Then that bastard will finally get what he deserves. Thank you. Not wise, stranger. You try to take justice into your own hands. The Magistrate will have your head. Only if it's reported. Well, we'll be quiet then. Yeah, idiot. I don't give a shit who it is. That fucker's targeting kids and elves. And, uh, no, I'm not gonna stand for it. I'm not gonna stand for it. That magistrate can suck my dick. I am not gonna... I'm just not gonna allow that to happen. I'm not on board. You all can... You all can kiss off. It's not happening. He's dead. It's not cool. Targeting elves. And children. I'm not standing for it. I don't care who his dad is. I don't even care. He's gonna get justice. That's for sure. One way or another. Anybody else? Knock knock. Let's see, any good old loot? Eric? Well done, bro. Anything fun? There's a belt. Uh, the magic is nice, but the, it's the, really the regen rate that's the real, the real sauce. To be honest with you, having it regen faster in combat is just the most useful thing. We could just junk this. The it's much damage is much lower. To be honest with you, plus it's plus. It's all for Sebastian anyway, and it's not like we're going to carry him. You already have a belt. Everyone does already have belts. Mana stamina. Honestly, mana stamina is better for her than health. To be honest with you. Yeah, because she has so many sustains that her mana stamina could use... She already has a fuck ton of health. What she needs is mana, mana stamina, because... She has so many sustained abilities that it's just like super useful to have her mana go up. To be honest, I, I might I might could even ignore her building her health for a bit and drop double points into mana stamina for a turn for a level or two. That probably wouldn't be a terrible plan. To be honest, spiders.
Silk Spider Grand, eh? I imagine that'll be for the alchemy guy. Or whatever the hell his name is. The mage dude that the herbalist, maybe that maybe that's what he's called. Herbalist. Maybe, baby. Well, this way's a dead end, so that does narrow it down somewhat. Ooh. A ring. I guess he wasn't close enough to I should have been patient with that. Not just spend it right away just because he was open for attack. If I had waited until they were grouped up around the middle, around each other, that would have been way smarter. Beautiful. Oh yeah, what was the necklace? I think necklaces are things we're more likely to miss. Oh, it's just better than what I'm wearing. It was what, attack and crit? Crit chance is not, a, not as useful for me, but it's not bad. Regular old attack, though. I mean, anybody could use that. What is his? Mana stamina, that's fine. Uh, we'll just give it to my brother. He can have it. He's a little more offensive warrior anyway between the two, of, between him and Aveline, so he can just have it. Him out. Well, well, got him. All right, just gonna sweep the room. Oh, look, there's something in the distance, also, A spider. Nice. Alright. Uh, did I pick anything up that was like... Oh, I did. I picked up a ring. Five health. I feel like I already am pretty well equipped on such things. Anyone have like a health ring that's less than five? Because I'm probably just going to trash this if... Uh, physical dim. Well, I think it's probably okay. He's already wearing a five and yeah, his other one is physical because I, I just remember doing that. So we can just trash it. Ah, oh, once it gets down first and then over. Yeah, they have some of these doors closed that are just inaccessible for certain ones. Who are you? Just to make Is the dungeon seem different. Here? I just want to go home. Leah? Your father told us you were dead. My father? Is he safe? <coughs> oh, it's Kelder awful. Said that he'd hurt my family if I didn't come with him. Who is Kelda? The man who took me. I don't see any injuries. Are you all right? He hit me, told me I was nothing. I begged him to stop hurting me. I didn't think he would, but out of nowhere, he pushed me away and just started crying. Don't you see? He didn't mean to hurt me. He told me. There are demons. They make him do these horrible things. Convenient. I'll have to remember to use that. A demon made me do it. There are a lot of cruel people out there, Princess. Completely demon free. But it's true. How else could he do something like this? Please. I'm taking Kelda back to Kelda. Actually, I'm not, but. They'll figure out what to do with him there. Maybe they can help him. Run to the entrance. You'll find your father there. <laughs> I'm so not taking his ass back to Kirkwall. I'm killing him. Absolutely not. He's not going back to Kirkwall. Unless it's in a body bag. 
<laughs> I didn't even bother because they're actually they're already dead. Trying to help Varig all the way at the end. Anyone else? Oh. Yikes. Yeah, I'm uh just wanna make sure they don't have anything on them. Nope. Anyway, but yeah, I was like, I'm not taking him back to Kirkwall. I said that thinking that that's not, that's not what was, yeah. It was a little, little misleading. I didn't realize that that's what she was going to say, but it didn't matter. I could, the head cannon there can be that we told the girl what we thought she wanted to hear so that she wouldn't make it difficult, but we know that we're not helping him out, so. And I'm good, and I'm cool with that. I knew my father would eventually send someone. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. From the Magistrate's vague description, I expected a hardened criminal, not a whining coward. He didn't tell you, did he? The Magistrate is my father. He's tried so hard to keep me, and what I've done, hidden away. I'm disgusted by the both of them. The Magistrate's more worried about keeping his job than doing his job. Father is a good man. He tried to help to stop me, but he can't. No one can. That elf girl, she had no right to be so beautiful, so perfect. The demon said she needed to be taught a lesson like all the others. The circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. If the Circle suspected a demon at work, they wouldn't risk setting you loose in the city. No. They lied. Excuse after excuse. Can we just kill him? I can't stop. I've tried so many times. Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. There, see? He wants to die. Problem solved. Just tell my father I'm sorry. For everything. Must you be so dramatic? Some people are simply broken. Wow, that was hardcore. Look at that, they all approve. And Car a guy got plus 10 on Carver. He's like, oh my god, just kill him. It's like, I agree, fuck this guy. It's, and yeah, the circle even said there's no demons. He's actually just out of his mind. And his dad apparently is gonna do nothing, no matter how many people he kills. So, forget that. You saved her. My little girl. I didn't dare hope. Did you find that monster? Is he dead? Oh yeah, he's super dead. He won't harm Leah or anyone else, ever again. I didn't believe an elf could ever get justice in Kirkwall. I speak for all of us when I say that we are in your debt, Sora. I know I lied to you, let it go. I feel just as bad for those knife ears as the next man. But ignoring the Magistrate's direct orders, that's madness. He's just a man, a stupid man who's, who who deserves nothing. Fuck that guy. All right, let's see what's going on here, huh? Oh, actually, we should go the other way first. We should go up this way, because you never know. Corpse, an amulet. Anything useful on that amulet? Physical damage. Here, Aveline, you can have that. Alright, make sure there's nothing down here. Okay. Didn't really think so, but I thought we should be safe. Money in a sellable. Nothing there. And trust they be my witness, Wilmot. I will have the truth. Oh, look, from you it's now. Cullen. Mercy, sir. Mercy. Were it that easy? Don't hit me. 
I will know where you're going, and I will know now. I thought Templars only treated mages this badly. Nice to see you're branching out. It's the blasted night, Captain. Don't. I ain't scared. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> you have struck me the last time, you pathetic human. To me! Preserve us. It'll be fine. You go through me before anyone else. involved in something sinister but this is it even possible uh. with what I've bumped into in Kirkwall nothing surprises me anymore I am Knight Captain Cullen I thank you for your assistance I've been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing Wilmot was the first to return I had hoped to confront him quietly out of sight Maybe next time you should try confronting him loudly, in public. I fear it is time to widen this investigation. My discretion may have cost me one of our best recruits, Wilmot's friend Karen. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. I'll speak with them. You never know how much you can learn from pillow talk. The Order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruit. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. I will ensure you are rewarded. Hey, no problem, man. Totes, I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. You know, for the Templars and all that. And it's not because I just am a big fan of money or such things. It's because I just really support you guys and everything you do. Eh. Alright, uh, what is this? Ooh, madness, stamina regen. Be still my beating heart. Cunning health damage resist. Damage resist is cool. Health is neato. Cunning, not, not as usable. I'm tempted to switch it for the mana stamina region and then give this to someone who's it would be a little more useful, like Varric. You know? That might be good. Let's see. Uh what to get rid of? Oh actually we should get rid of that one because this is it's just a health ring. And that one will keep the health ring and also give him other stuff. Alright, so this is just five health. Is there anything that's that would that's that like just a one to one? Yeah, it's already nothing. Already better stuff going on. Well, it's a big upgrade for Varric. Alright. Uh, wounded Coast, I suppose. Alright, on the Wounded Coast. Thank God, I'm almost done with my stupid drink. Choking to death. It's like drinking piss. But I can only imagine piss might taste better. <laughs> I can only imagine! I try. All right. Oh, that's a simple chest. Beric. Beautiful. All right. Well, got what we needed, needed. But I do see that there was another little, little wee little Bobby mission over here. There's a there's a little arrow in the distance. No witnesses. Well, 
The good thing I'm not planning on leaving any one of you alive. See any more of you. Excuse me. Anyone else? No. Messages for the wardens. Hmm. You'd probably pay to have them returned. Ah, look at that. Anyone else? Oh, there is a few more. Oh, there's more. There we go. Alright. I guess what I'm gonna do now is I'm probably gonna sweep the coast and I'll... Show you any highlights, if there are any. I love doing that. Hark, there is uh, something going on. Oh, look. Dalish. Do you even know her name? I was a beast then. A werewolf. Uh-oh. I did many terrible things. I... I'm sorry. Sorry does not bring my mother back. I was a victim too, elf. Of Zathrian's vengeance. Stranger, please calm her down. Did... I hear you right. You're a werewolf. I was one, but no longer. Her Dalish keeper cursed some humans with lycanthropy long ago. The disease spread over the years, but the hero of Ferelden freed us. He was cursed. You can't blame him for that. You stand up for him? Fine. Then you will die for him! Well, that's not what I would have chosen. I wouldn't prefer to this to end in bloodshed, but... I don't really have much of a vote. never preferred that to happen but obviously I couldn't exactly talk her down oh yeah level up all right so nothing crazy so far uh, found some little random like elf roots and things killed several bandit groups things like that um, I think we'll do it evenly for me and we might continue down the tree I'm working on though before I jump into anything else continue getting upgrades for my shit so that it just hits much harder so that everything is better. Upgrade his shit as well. And honestly, I think uh, you need more stamina than health at the moment. And then give her an upgrade. Hell yeah. Alright, so Varric leveled up while I've been slaying right now. So, don't mind me. We're just going to level him up real quick. Uh, I feel like more upgrades... Would not be a bad move. Alright. So, I uh, explored the Wounded Coast all the way. And uh, only a couple of little highlights. Nothing crazy. Found a little bit of new gear. Nothing insane. I got new robes, as uh, you would have noticed. Um, they're okay, but the thing is, they were just so much stronger than what I was having. That I had no choice. And so, unfortunately, I did have to just kind of bite the bullet. 
and uh, switch to them, even though they're, they don't look great. At least the hood matches now. Like, the hood kind of blends. Not that it matters because that's not showing in-game, obviously. Uh, you know, in the main screen, right? But um, I finally found a new sword for Aveline, which replaced her her crap sword that she was using. So, so that was something. Um, so, you know. You know. Get away from me, you idiot. Alright, um, did I pick up an armor piece? Yep, dexterity and cunning, though. Well, that sucks. That was, that was good armor, too, but... It obviously doesn't help me none, and no one else cares about armor, so... That is a pity. Because I could use the armor! It probably, it probably would look a hell of a lot cooler than what I'm wearing. That's a right. Worst case, I'll actually use some actual money and I'll buy myself some robes somewhere if I can find some. Which, to be honest, I might. It's actually very likely that I'll check out that robe vendor guy. See if he'll sell, sell me any armor that'll look better. Old Shemlin, your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. I was given an amulet for someone named Marathari. How do you know that name? Wait, this is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought she'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble. And you'll meet our blades, stranger. Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to cause trouble. Marathari, I was told to bring you this amulet. Andaran Atishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There is a light in your heart, human. Don't let it go out. You will need it. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. This amulet's owner rescued my family from the Blight. In return, I agreed to bring it to you. I honor you for coming to me. But I'm afraid your part in this is not done yet. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. If that's what you want. It isn't what I want, but it is what she wants. You'll find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shira. I don't, don't have to twist my arm. That's for sure. I uh, couldn't ask for anything more. I, told you that you were doing it wrong. Uh, I need to sell things. I have a tremendous amount of things to sell. Okay, uh, there's some neato things, but you have robes. I can't look with to see what they look like, though, so, you know. Technically, it's better because it matches what I'm using, but it has fire damage, so technically it's better. And it probably doesn't look any worse, right? <laughs> um, I could also have these, which these are also actually much better. I wouldn't really necessarily want to pay the money to use these, but I ain't gonna lie, those are both better. Alright, I'll take both. I'll take them both. There's always money. Money options. Alright, so the robes were better. Oh, they look the same. Damn it to hell. But they, are, but they, they are better anyway, so it's not a waste. And these ones are also just better. So, they look exactly the same, but they are... But technically it was an improvement, because I did gain 18% fire damage, technically, from doing that. 
And then, uh, not even counting the bonuses from the, uh, the bonuses from the other thing I just did, so. Alright, don't mind me. I'm just gonna run around and grab all your codex entries, and then we'll, then we're gonna pick up my love, Meryl. Oh, sadly, I'm not romancing her this playthrough. As unfortunate as it is, but I am romancing Isab Isabella, which will be fun. But, admittedly, my heart... My heart feels a little sad. That's a little sad not to romance my waifu. But obviously we do know where to go, so we do have to go this way first, so... Nothing we can do about that, it's just the way things should be done. Just gonna make sure there's nothing, uh... Oh, it's just an exit. Although, hang on, there is... I do have another quest over here, Varric. though. Carver. Still think you're helping while bearing us in debt to your brother. Good lord. Still riding side saddle while bitching at your betters? Got him. Drinks later. Never miss him. Wow, well. Good to see that they're sort of getting along. As much as can be expected. Alright, uh, let's just go ahead and we'll do this one first, I guess, and then we'll deal with the... Then we'll, uh... Go and hit that that other part of that other part other reason we're here. Oh hey, what's up, bitch? You're one of the Amaranthine conspirators. There's a bounty on your head. Did you know? Curse you. No, curse you. Got him. No, oh, he had a good sword. Oh, I don't know. It's good, but he has a sword. <laughs> Is it good? Weapon and shield. Oh, look at that. She already found a, found a better sword. It's much better than what even that other one I found her. Plus, that one is a gold hilt. Neato. All right, so Aveline got an, got an even better weapon, which is fun. Which is great. All right, now we can go ahead and poke the other side, so... That was the other major reason we were here, was to deal with that guy. Now that it's out of the way, now we can pick up Meryl. And I might just disturb our composition for a minute. And uh, carry Meryl for at least a little bit. Up until we up until we can't. Which will be very shortly, but... Up until we can't. That could be fun. Meryl, my love! I didn't hear. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anethera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl. Which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. I love you so much. More than anything. Uh... You'll have to work harder than that to offend me. My name's Hawk. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the Free Marches long? Do you like it here? I've lived in Kirkwall for a year now. It's a good place to get a fresh start. Really? I hope you're right. We should go. Your task is for Asha Bellina. It's not wise to make her wait. Let's get this over with. Oh, I'm ready. Meryl, my love! Skeleton! Get away from me. Nope. That was beautiful. I uh, sniped her out before I could. The keeper didn't mention you were a mage. Hit my lightning. All keepers know a bit of old magic. Oh, indeed. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift, but like so many things, it was lost. 
It's a keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. Please keep turning skeletons into toads for us. But I never... Uh... Right. Not literally. Happy to help. I've done a little fighting before, but it, it was always alone. I'll try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm babbling again. Let's go. I love you. More than anything. God, I love you, Meryl. You're just the, you're the best thing to happen to me. But it's okay. I'll romance you later on again. It's I'm never far from another playthrough romancing my love. That's for sure. Never far. Whoopsie. I accidentally act deactivated my thing. I was trying to hit that. But reactivate my death siphon. It didn't work. There we go. Say death siphon, please. Yeah, I, I meant to hit the. That was kind of a mess there. I was, I was, activated it, or I was trying to go for the little knockback thing, and then I just didn't. And it was a whole mess. So the keeper finally found someone to take you from here. Rude. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon. Hmm. I'm sensing a story here. I have made my choice. And I will save our clan whatever you think. What's going on here, Meryl? Nothing. Just ignorance. We should go. I love you. Don't let them put you down. You are the best. And don't ever doubt it. Ever! They just because they, just they don't appreciate you, like I appreciate you, doesn't mean anything. It means they're fools. Fools, I tell you. Because you're perfect, just the way you are. Blood magic and everything, and I'm here for it. I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. Is there anything I can do to help? It's kind of you to ask. I'm fine. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Ashabella Nar isn't known for her patience. Yes, well, wouldn't want to keep her waiting, that's that's for true. Ah, uh, poor Meryl, dude. Poor Meryl. She's too she, she's too good for this world. None of us deserve her. Spiders! Get away from me. Get away from me. Excuse me. Thank you. We're keeping score, right? She says. Uh, I think I saw some new gloves. Did I not? Yup. Ooh. Apparently it's a set. Mm, I do lose a little bit of regen, which does suck. But I do gain flat. I gain flat ones, so... It's not all bad. I gain flat mana, so that's not bad, I guess. Regen is just, is like, the shit. But, you know. It's not bad. Plus it's part of a set. So. We'll switch to it. Sets usually look pretty cool, we're pretty cool, so it's wouldn't be bad if I could find the whole thing. Spiders! Something else to turn in. I'm gonna make a fortune when I get back to town, that's for sure. I'm gonna have so much cool shit to turn in. 
Skeletons! Whoa, it's uh, somebody creepy. Anyone else? <laughs> Hell yeah, Aveline. She's just like a super delayed. Ha! Ah! Like, hell yeah. I'm on board. That was exciting, I agree. Alright. To the graveyard! Which is just sounds so inviting. I'm on board. I'm sure it'll be great. Good place to have a summer vacation, eat some ice cream, no doubt. Don't open the thing yet, Meryl. I gotta go this way first. Okay, now we can go ahead and open the barrier. I can open the way forward. One moment. It was fine. That was blood magic. Nothing wrong with that. Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? Sure, demons are very helpful. Right up until they take your mind and turn you into a monster. Well, yes. But that won't happen. I know how to defend myself. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. I have no problem with blood magic. The elders came here to sleep. Uthanara. The endless dream, they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. Especially after I start robbing graves and they upset them. <laughs> Aveline plus five. She's like, yeah, blood magic, not good. And luckily I did it playfully, so that way I didn't actually offend anybody. That way she wasn't actually upset. Because I love her, and I wouldn't want her to be unhappy. Skeletons! That's what I was waiting for. I was like, come on, pop up, I know you want to. That idiot. I think it's safe now. Place the amulet on the altar, and I'll begin the rite. One moment, my love. I must loot the graveyard first. All right. Uh, what the hell? Ring of the Magister. Man of Stamina. Oh, but lose regen. Oh, there we go. That's an increase. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright, so then Man of Stamina or... Well, I kind of feel like... An attack. kind of feel like that might be better for you. Yeah, 14 attack. Uh, probably better than his physical damage, maybe? I don't know. Oh, hang on a minute. I think there was, like, wasn't there, like, boots or gloves or something? Oh, there was new robes. Oh, they're much better. And they have more mana stamina. They look the same, though. <laughs> Damn it to hell. Well, that's why you don't buy robes, man. Because you're probably gonna find some. That, then it would have been a waste of money. Uh, I do want to click on that, but I do want to make sure we didn't... We don't miss anything this way. Don't they stop you from going higher in a second here? Like, you know? 
Oh, we have some more things to deal with first. Got him. Revenant. Some good money. Grab this. Grab this. I think they do stop you it's eventually. From going any higher. Chest. Actually, two chests. Piece of cake. Anything useful? So many freaking bows, bro. Alright, so that's already better. Well, we'll keep both those daggers. We'll see what Isabelle is carrying whenever that or whenever that arrives. Oh, they might not stop you because we're almost at the top, so I guess they don't stop you. I was thinking that I was thought I thought there was like a barrier in there or something, and then it tells you like, you know. Like, I don't know. It's impassable for now. Maybe that's just referring to like the upper part that leads to the cave. Maybe that's it. I guess that doesn't stop you for the rest of it. Yeah, well, there's the barrier, so. I guess I was partially right. But I was thinking it did it much earlier than all this. But now we know. Okay, now we can run back down. Okay, back at the altar. We're ready. Ahare namalana sale. Emma ira au bella se viranan. Isalahamin vinan him dofilas. In usenera narivas. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. No one wanted to buy it. Maybe because it had a witch inside? Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear girl. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. Cheap advice from a dragon. We all have our challenges. Are we going to regret bringing her here? Regret is something I know well. Take care not to cling to it. To hold it so close that it poisons your soul. When the time comes for you of regrets, remember me. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Masaranus Ashabellanar. 
Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks. And my sympathy. Now, here's the question. Do you think that she's foreshadowing that of what happens to the rest of Hawk's family? Do you think it's about because of, like, how things end up, are going to end up between Carver and I? Like, I don't know. You know, like, it, it could mean a lot of things. And then the, the other thing that, that she said... Oh, child, pause. Your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Dalen. Gareth Shiral, Keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. Hell yeah. Welcome to the family. Anyway, but the other thing that she said, like, you know, we stand upon the precipice of change or whatever, like, that could be referring to many things, you know? You think she's referring to the other events in this game? Like, between each act? Do you think she's referring to what happens in, uh, Inquisition? Who knows? Is this, is this really where the elves live? This is very sad for you, I'm Not sorry. The part of Kirkwall, but it doesn't have a view of the giant chains. Take what you can get. I didn't think it would be so... so... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. You already know me. You'll make other friends soon enough. Guy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. <laughs> of course. But only because you used that... You kicked my puppy voice. Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. Ah, oh, Meryl, I love you. Meryl, my love. Later, Aveline. I got bigger fish. Good to see you again, we can totally be fine with one warrior, right? I say with no confidence. <laughs> Especially with that one warrior is freaking what's his face? Carver. Carver. All right. We need that. She needs to be level nine for where she can upgrade Death Vortex. Oh boy. Well, she's actually already almost there. Let's see. She does have this. Dalish Pariah. Oh, what's funny is she doesn't have a reg the regular healing tree. So she actually can't go, like, straight up healing mage, you know? Interesting. We could, like, have her go into spirit. I mean, I don't have spirit. Plus, it would be cool to not double up, considering I don't have spirit. Walking bomb. Sure, it'll be different. Anyway, wild. She, she doesn't have like the regular healing tree. I am sorry for your loss, mistress. But I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. This will be mother if we're not careful. Shut up, Carver. It sounds like your son is in trouble. Is there anything I can do? You... Uh, you heard all of that and still you would help? An apostate? Oh, thank you. I am Ariani. My boy, Fenrir. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the circle than to himself. What exactly do you need me to do? Just find him, please. Bring him somewhere safe. I don't know where Fenrir has gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fenrir's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fenriel might have sought him out. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. 
He ought to have his own life. Out from the shackles of the circle. Everyone should. I hear you, babe. The boy sounds one breath away from becoming an abomination. Let's get to him. Fast. Carver, shut up. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. Don't worry, I will help you. That's like so many arrows. You miss it. For Elden, I mean. Sometimes. Blackberries. They don't seem to grow here. And there were little songbirds with black caps on their heads. I sort of missed the dogs barking. Yes. It's mostly been humans barking at me here. Not nearly as cute. <laughs> oh god, she just really she is the best. There's just there's there's no way around it. You heard it here first, folks. She is the best. Alright, so there's like a thousand things to do here, but let's start with this, huh? Hey. That's the last of them. You do good work. Come men, back to the vigil and away from this cesspool of a city. <laughs> I hear you. Money! That's nice. Alright, then there's something over here. Oh, armor. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Hang on, one step at a time. Kill him! This is Carver's up there on his own. <laughs> Got rid of my other warrior. I leveled up. Neato. There's the dead drop. Hopefully the wardens will appreciate this. Here's hoping. Alright, but seriously. Say, what's up, armor guy? I know you just saw me slaughter a very large group of people, but... Uh, rogue armor. Dexterity cunning. Yeah, these are not made... These are not made stuff. I cannot wear these things. All right. Well, there's something to turn on, turn in on the other side. Weaponsmith trinkets. None of them will have anything. Apparel. You might have something. Apostate robes. Hey, okay. Getting better. I'm a little hesitant to spend just spend big bougie bucks on this stuff. I really feel like not spending so much damn money would be a wise move. But I'm desperate to have armor that doesn't look so shitty. So, I guess I'll take it. Alright, uh... Sorry, wrong button. Okay, so... It is better anyway, so this is an increase. Oh, well, I mean, it's something. It's still like the classic robe, but I do like those a little more. They actually blend with the hood even better, I think. So, I do like those a little bit more, but it's, it's all very classic... Classic stuff, you know? You look like a woman who would appreciate the finest rubies from Antiva raising her lovely neck. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. My lady, I'm a bachelor. I've never met a woman of sufficient beauty and charm to tie Vincento down. <laughs> Let us not ruin the day with such weighty thoughts. Perhaps I could show you my silks. We're not Templars, Sirrah. Fainriel has nothing to fear from us. Maldithion, you are a mate. I suppose you'd be kind then. Yup. The who resists I'm on his team. In by Templars? To an elf-blooded child abandoned by his human father? Of course we would. Definitely. The boy is in over his head. So I send him to the only man I know who doesn't despise mages. A former Templar named Samson. Why would a Templar help him? His conscience plagues him, having served the Templars too long. He now helps mages on the run. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Darktown. That's the best place to find him. Thanks, bro. Good looking out. Also, I leveled up. 
Okay, uh, this might be one where I avoid health for a second, and we double down on mana. And I suppose I will probably continue down the primal tree. Oh, actually, I can upgrade Death Siphon to give me more shit. That's obviously much better. I'll take it. Make my Death Siphon even better. Oh, God. <laughs> look at all the arrows. Good God, look at all these arrows. Okie dokie. I guess first off will be Gamblin's house so I can answer mail. Because that might increase arrows. <laughs> increase things to do on the world map. Someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Thank you, Gamlin. Okay, uh, Hawk, I know we didn't part on the best terms. You were right. I was trying to squeeze more work out of you than was justified. You're more than paid your way through into the more than paid your way into the city. It's been tight since you left, though. If you're looking for more work for real coin in your pocket, come see me in Hightown anytime before sunset. And then I understand that you're the thank for the return of the lost Grey Warden letters. This deed did not go unnoticed. Please accept the enclosure ward and, war and warden's blessings. Your discretion about this affair is appreciated. To see if there were oh. coins inside. Were That's fine. All right. Uh, Carver, Merrill, Beric. Okay. Uh, we'll go this. I think this one is just a turn-in one. I don't think this one is a in-depth one, so to speak. How did you learn swording? Swording. Sorting. Those things you do with the sword. It looks. Why would anybody make a place like? This? Oh no! I interrupted her. Meryl, I'm sorry. It's adorable that you called it sorting, though. God, I love you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'll just take an upgrade to side here. You could have that. God, I... Oh, stupid. I interrupted her. I'm so mad. I would have loved to have heard the rest of that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Your fucking stats. What the hell is this? Okay, well, she needs more health. Start there. Ooh, we can give her an upgrade to Death Siphon. It's great. This was ah, welcome, my dear friend, to Sol's shop. My name is Solipitus. Please take a look around. My apologies in advance. Our shelves are a bit bare at the moment. Actually, if you're interested, I could use a bit of help to remedy that. How can I help? It's been too dangerous to leave the city of late, and the substances I require for my creations are, of course, elsewhere. Uh, perhaps you could find them. You'll be compensated for your time, have no fear. I'll also give you first pick of my new creations. Make up a list of what you need, and I'll keep an eye out for you. Perfect. A discount on everything in the shop, Sirrah. Hell yeah, I have things for I you. I'm fortunate to be Only one thing on the list left so many pages are plagued by unrest. Fuck you. And I can't fuck, and I cannot stress this enough. You. Alright, don't get that. What do you got, huh? Flocked wool robe. I, I'm not gonna buy any more robes, okay? <laughs> I've already bought so much money, spent most, a great deal of money on robes, trying to find better looking robes. I'll just put up with it until I find something better, alright? Can we skip the gallows? I've had my oppression for the day, thanks. <laughs> hey, I hear you, brother. I hear you. Alright, so that was a turn in, which is great, but there's other things on the map I can already see. So that's good. Alright, so it's over here, but also a level up. So. Uh, two to cunning, and then we'll go dexterity. And yeah, continue pumping upgrades for this stuff. That'll work. Alright, uh, there's one down here. Hey, you. Oh my god, it's Haramont. Thanks, but no thanks. Well, not the Haramont, I don't think. It's probably another Haramont. What do we do with the human? Stand down. She's not our foe. What was that about? Assassins. The boat to Ravain is within sight, but the Carta would see me dead before I get there. How would you like to make some coin? I'll clear the way for you, Haramont. Dispatch these ruffians and I'll pay you what I can now. And by the ancestors, I will reward you proper when I am safe. 
What is your name? Hawk. A good name. I will remember it. The Carta has several groups lying in wait for us. Take the battle to them. Deal. Yeah, so it's probably like Haramont's son or something. Like the Haramont's son or something, I imagine. Anyway, uh, health. Uh, health might be better than physical damage. Maybe. I don't know. And, oh, well, she's not even... She doesn't have any extra goodies, so she gets it by default. Okay, so there was three groups of Carta. I killed them. They did offer me more money to kill Haramont. I opted not to. Why? I don't know. Just decided not to. I wager you have a bright future ahead of you. Take this. More will come, as promised. May the stone look after you. Thanks, bro. Anyway. Just, I just decided to side with him. So I killed three groups of Carta, ran back, got money. So not not very exciting. All right, so we're here. As you can see, there's like seven arrows on this map. You dare show your face to me again. If you know. So you know he's upset, but obviously we don't before. we don't care. That's because you've spent too much time frolicking in the woods, Daisy. Dwarves don't frolic. Dalish don't really frolic either. Not in the woods, anyway. You have sanctioned frolicking areas? No, just not in the woods. The trees get jealous. But you do frolic. Of course we do. We wouldn't be elves otherwise. Oh, you yeah, there? Well, she has. She got you there. Wouldn't be elves otherwise. You know, this outfit's actually growing on me. Now that I'm like looking more at it, like it's it's kind of sleek. It does beat the old one for sure. Definitely like it a lot more than that one, but the more I'm like the more we go through this I'm like, yeah, you know what like it kind of slaps like it's not nearly as good as some other options You could so, probably Come up with but you know No, I'm an elf <laughs> Right All right, then Oh, did I miss something dirty? What no, it, it wasn't dirty. It wasn't anything. Oh Right Because I miss a lot of dirty things and sometimes I wouldn't mind hearing them would you know? The Carver, lay the fuck off, bro. Lay off. She's not available. It would make me so mad to have my stupid brother with Meryl. So, will anyone smite me if I tell you I killed the man who wronged your family? Excuse me, who are... My post to the Chancellor's board? Did Her Grace let that stay? I thought for sure no one even read, but you say you've killed them. You have my eternal gratitude, Sirrah. It is comforting to think my parents might now rest easily in their graves. Your parents probably don't care much at this point. But I hope you sleep a bit easier. Yes, I hope I will. Thank you. Consider this in advance. When I have secured my lands again, you will be paid royally. Now if you'll excuse me, I must meet with the Viscount and petition him for aid to a fellow city. Later. I'm sure we'll catch up, Lord knows. Alright, we can go ahead and hop right back into High Town and continue hunting things down. Alright, so we'll we'll start up here. There's all kinds of shit going on. Okay, so if I can't do Mara wants something or other. Alright, we can Let's go up here and tell this guy that his wife's dead. I couldn't bring back your wife, but here's a ring. It looks pricey. Oh, Ninette's wedding ring. Yes, look at the engraving. Forever faithful, forever yours. Oh, written in happier times. Where did you find it? Just know that she will not return. Oh. It's better this way. Our marriage has been in shambles for more than a decade. I'll send the ring to her family. If not, it will appease them. Thank you for all your help, Sarah. Make her watch over. Thanks for the money, bro. Because let's be honest, that's really what I needed. Alright, that was for you. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. 
Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. I bet their first task will be cleaning up the entrails the last shift left behind. A dragon killer and a mind reader. Wonderful. Let us discuss your payment. You have been a great help. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? Work together? With him? I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. If you want my help, you'll pay for my services in advance. You're both tough and shrewd. Very well. I had some money set aside for safety equipment, but it is yours instead. So, to our first order of business, we replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there, but it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. Okay, look at that. Very thought, very thought that was a really cool, neato little move there. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, you know what? I while I'm right here, and I have most of everyone's, everyone who's available in the party at this point. I kind of should look and see that there's no Act One special stuff to buy. Okay. There's a Fenril. See what she was. See what what she's up to. Huh. Well, I just lost a sovereign. Didn't think you'd stoop to our kind again. Neither did I. Shut up, Carver. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? Pride usually hasn't been my downfall. Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic, if you know what I mean. I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. I haven't seen them since. I'd pay good silver for the safe return of them, or the goods. Consider it a deal. Good. Go to the docks tonight. My boy Price was supposed to meet our buyers from the Carta there. Maybe you can find out what happened. Well, we'll see if our <laughs> Carver didn't like that. Anyway. Fuck you, Carver. Fuck you, Carver! Anyway, I'm assuming that I'm going in here to just to turn something in to drop something off, so... Time will tell. Oh. Do you need something, honey? Never mind. This one is in a more important quest. A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. The Templars are the ones who want this information. We make a lot of our money off of nervous Templars that expect some privacy. I'll be discreet. Let me look through the books. Wilmot, Karen... Here we go. Wilmot came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? The both of them last saw... Iduna, the exotic wonder from the East. That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the Tramp from Darktown. <laughs> True. You should hear what some of the others are called. Uh... Thank you for your help. Sure thing. And listen, you didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? Sub dude from the Red Iron. Who I normally work with, whatever your name is. You remind me of Harin Ivalvaric, only younger and shorter, and not as serious. So, it's a close resemblance then. Well, he tells stories. And you tell stories. Although none of his begin, No shit. There I was. <laughs> I'll have to give him some better stories then. Ah, uh, yes. I love her. Oh, he's just the... Fuck me. Nope. <laughs> no thanks. All set. Not interested in any of that. You must be the exotic wonder of the East. Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmot a few weeks ago? Or Karen. Wilmot. Wilmot. 
That doesn't sound familiar. Try a little harder. Do your clients like this charade? It must get dreadfully tiresome. Wh uh, wh whatever do you mean? Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? I don't think so. Hawk, go easy on this lovely creature. Kids. You should listen to your friend. Uh, no. As charming and relentless as you are, I'm here to investigate. Answer one of my questions first. Who told you about little old me? It was Vivica. She showed me her books. I'm being hypnotized. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. Uh, no. I will not be toyed with. How did you? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll say. Spare me, Messer. No. You're just too dangerous. You have to die. No. No. Yeah, I'm pissed. Fuck you. Information would have been good, but I didn't want to risk you living. Maybe we can find answers somewhere around here. And then a cold shower. Information would have been good, but I didn't want... <laughs> Carver's like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, information would have been good, but I didn't want to risk her surviving. Friends make their home in the Undercity. Shall we pay them a visit? Hell yeah. But not yet. Alright. Beautiful. Well, got what we came for, and this way, I save Vivica's life from potential, uh... Potential retaliation. Insist if you oh. must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems excessive. He may be tell the shop. The winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way. She's fun. Yes. What is it? If this is about a rescue, that woman did not seem the type. She is the type I feared we would attract. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. Ready the reward. He'll be back in no time. Declare it if you like. But the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them on the Wounded Coast. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't you worry, Haas. I will handle it. Okay. Uh, now we can run over here. One of them is Aveline. Another one is just a turn-in, I think. I think Aveline is to the... Is, uh, yeah, there she is, but... Don't worry about that. We're not here for her right now. That's what we're there for. Okay, now I can talk to Aveline. There's Jevon's office. Wait while I explain our initiative. Yeah, this will be good. I don't know how they do it where you're from, guard woman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your whims. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show-offs in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice jailed. He's fun. Well, what a charming fellow. I don't have to like him, but he could at least listen. Bandits are dead. That's all that should matter. 
It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. And this is probably a bad time to discuss my bill with him. He'll jail you. I don't doubt that. The rest, though. Well, the duty roster will have my next patrol. Sounds like I'll have plenty of time to follow you around. Threaten my friends. I'm not letting that one go, Captain. I'll say. Aveline! I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours. It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. A lone guard isn't much of a patrol. Shouldn't need to be. That route was clear for weeks. First noise out of it was your big fight. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. Mm, the satchel? Pay and order assignment. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. Hell yeah, Aveline. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush. I bet there's a perfectly reasonable lie that explains why your captain arranged this. I'd be willing to hear it, but not while a guard may be walking into a trap. Brennan said Donick, a good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. Yeah. But not yet. Well, we've got to end the episode, but uh, I just I wanted to hit as much of this shit as we could. There's a lot of turning in stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, boy. Oh. All right. Well, we got close. Enemies among us. Get back to work. All right. Well, that might be a good... Oh, that might be a good place as any. But, uh... Yeah, we made great progress today, and uh, we hit all the quests on the outside. I mean, there's a few new ones now, but we hit all the main quests that we had the, uh, up until we got new ones on the outside on the outside of the city, and then uh, we hit a big, big chunk of turning things in as well. So, uh, so you love to see that. So when we come back, we'll be uh, just continuing to turn things in and uh, and hit the hit these quests. So. Um, I don't exactly know how long it'll be before we're dumping into Act 2, um, but of course we will be keeping our eyes peeled for Isabella. I almost think that she might not appear until Act 2, um, but uh, we will see about that, but we will be keeping our eyes peeled for her. And as much it'll as, it, as it pains me, we will probably have to uh, probably drop off Meryl and carry Isabella. Of course, excited to carry Isabella, but the thought of having to not carry Meryl does hurt just a little bit. But, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get through it. Anyway, that is going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later. Oh, did I just collateral that guy? Yeet. <laughs> Meryl, you go first. He's like, I think it's clear, man. You're good. As the great Bob Ross would say, what a happy accident. Later, idiots. <laughs> I could hear Darth Vader in my head. I have you now. <laughs> oh, walk it off, bro. You're okay. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> that was so perfect.